Hi, my name is Paul Fiddler, a field sales engineer here at Meraki. So today we're going to talk about how we can systematically configure the dock that we have on Mac OS. Now, as you can see there, I've got quite a busy one. But if you want to ensure that all of your students or employees have exactly the same experience and only have access to things that you want them to, we can configure this. And this is how we'll do it. So we're going to click Add Profile and ensure that it's a device profile. We'll give this a suitable name, such as macOS doc profile. And we're going to click Add Settings and search for doc. And there we go. Now, there's quite a lot of things that we can actually configure on here, but we're just going to concentrate on dock items themselves. But before we do that, we've got some work to do. We're just going to open Terminal and type defaults read com.apple.doc. And this is going to give us a whole bunch of information about the current dock on the computer. So what we're going to do now is just actually export this to a text file by putting uh, greater than doc.txt. We'll open this directory in Finder, and there we go, we've got this text file. So we can actually take some time now and go through this. So I've gone through the text file to show three different examples, a folder, an application, and a URL. And you can see there in bold that I've highlighted what these look like. However, what we're going to type into Dashboard later slightly differs. So in red, I've got what this actually looks like. So we're going to go back to our profile that we created earlier and click Add Doc Item. And we're going to paste in the first of our three examples, which was to open the Applications folder. We're going to give this a label of Apps, and we're going to change the item type to Directory. We'll click Add Doc Item again, and this is going to be for our application, which in this example, System Preferences. And we'll give this a name as well. And you can see that we've got a space between system and preferences. And we've got dot app on the end. And lastly, we're going to hit doc item once more. We're going to change this to URL. We'll paste in the link to Meraki. And we'll put in SM here. And we'll click Save. Now, when this gets pushed down to the device, you can see there that we've got our lovely managed doc, system preferences, apps and our URL, and thank you.